Sticks and stones may break my bones, but words will never hurt me. Or will they? Sup peeps, my name is Kirby, but you guys can call me Curves. And this is Kickback with Curves. Today we're gonna to be talking about positivity or positive connotations only as on my sign all the time. Let's go. talking about the power of words and also how to integrate more positive words and positive things into your life. The reason I picked this topic is because a lot of crazy things are happening in this world, but there's still a lot to be grateful for and to look up to. So I'm going to give you some examples about how words can really influence your mental and physical well-being and also how you can slowly start integrating positive words into your day-to-day -day lives. Let's start. Kirby, words can't be that bad. They're just air coming out of our lungs and you know, the pronunciation of our tongue and like, how could it be wrong? Words are actually very powerful in our psychological and hormonal well-being. From a study done by Maria Richter and some of her colleagues, it's been stated that hey. negative words can release stress and anxiety inducing hormones. And it's been seen that high levels of anxiety within children can actually result in negative self-talk, which doesn't help much either. In another research study, it was shown that negative utterance actually get more attention, arouse more emotion, and are stored better and longer in your memory. Sticks and stones can hurt you, but negative words can also be proven to do so too. So how do we fix this? How do we cultivate this positivity? How do we get more of it into our lives? You can try smiling. Why smiling? Because even if you're forcing a smile, it's been proven that your brain thinks it's a real smile and release serotonin, which makes you happy. Also, research done by Andrew Newberg and Mark Robert Wildman found that exercising positive thoughts can quite literally change one's reality. It can make you think more and be more creative and being more open to showing your true self because being yourself is one of the best things that you can do. Now to touch on positive connotations. And now some of you guys are like, what the heck is a connotation? Connotation is basically the emotion associated with the word. For example, if I said the word donut, some of you guys might be like, oh my gosh, donuts, boom, good. That's a positive connotation. Other of you are like, donuts, cavities. I like bagels better. It's how a word or phrase or sentence makes you feel. I've realized that a lot of people nowadays in our generation have actually been using a lot of negative connotations to give advice or feedback to something. I'll give some examples. Have you ever asked someone, hey, what do you think about this shirt? And then they reply, it's not bad. It's not bad, why bad? It could have been, it looks good, it's nice, it's cool, it's fresh, something simpler. It's not bad even though it's something very simple, it can actually do this negative connotation to you in your head and then fix negative remembrance, as I stated before. Or have you ever been in a conversation with someone and you're stating something that you know is possibly correct and instead of saying, oh, you're right, that's true, I never thought of it like that. They're like, you're not wrong. Not saying to attack your friends whenever they come up with these words, but little things like this we can change so that we could, you know, entice more positivity into like our regular conversations. And sometimes you can be a victim of this too to yourself. I personally have said this a lot and my friends can account for it. Sometimes I say, I'm an idiot. That's another thing of negative self-talk. It's so subconscious that we don't even notice about it. But you could change the, I'm an idiot to the, I didn't really understand it that much right now. You gotta try to find ways to bring yourself up because you are an amazing person and there's something great in you that no one else sees that you can see within yourself. So please show your positivity and show other people's positivity by hyping them up in things that they wear or do or say, you know, if it's good, you know, don't hype up the wrong stuff. But anyway, you know what I'm trying to get at. Help me start positive connotations only everywhere or as much as we can because you know, change comes a little bit at a time. I'll try to leave a lot of links and videos below to help you better associate or change your phrases little by little so that positivity can be something that you spread naturally. All right, my dudes, that's all we have for today. Hopefully this video has helped you be more absolutely positively positive. Now, as I said it before, don't hog all the positivity to yourself. Spread it to your fellow peeps because they deserve some positivity and happiness too. Also, don't forget, we got 22 days left for the 1,000 subs in 60 days. I know we haven't really jumped that much, but I'm still very happy about the progress. And thank you guys so much for supporting me on the way. But Kirby, what do I get if I subscribe to you? Like I click a button and you get stuff, but what do I get? You will get a personalized Curb shout out, which you have seen in some of the other videos previously. You still got time though, so please share this with people. Binge it. If this is your first time watching and you haven't hit that subscribe button yet, 
it's okay. Keep watching. I think you'll find something you'll like along the way. Or subscribe and maybe later I will surprise you. If you like this video and like to see more, don't forget to hit that subscribe button. And if you think I did a good job, give me a thumbs up so I know how I'm doing. But until next time, adios for now.